So guys, now we are going to install the Lineage OS 20 on Samsung Galaxy J8 and I will just give you an initial preview that it is indeed Lineage OS 20 and yes it is the latest one as of now while I am making the video it is the latest one with security patch of April 5th 2025 yeah the Android security patch but the Windows security patch is the older one which you have on the Samsung uh, stock ROM so now we are going to just power off the phone or if you already have your phone powered off and I hope you all have installed the TWRP which I demonstrated in my last video so now we are going to just hold the power up button the volume up button and the power button and we are going to boot into recovery once we are in recovery we are going to perform the wipe but you have to make sure that the wipe shouldn't include your vendor because if you get rid of your vendor you will have to install the complete base rom see you are going to select everything but except the vendor and you are going to wipe it because if you do so you won't be able to boot with the different vendor now we are going to go install but i don't have the roms as i've already wiped it now i'm using my pc to get my roms but you can use a otg or a sd card so i have it connected now i'm going to transfer all the files to it uh, so guys here you have to download the lineage os 20 gsi and i'll have the link down below you have to install the a64 because this device supports only 60 a64 not arm 64 and download the bvs vndk or bv n vndk mm -hmm. not any of the other because if you do so you're going to face a problem like you'll have a problem of your device constantly booting up going to the setup screen and then just showing that you have to format it because there is some issue with the android ka setup wizard that it keeps on crashing again and again again and again it just keeps on doing that now we are going to download the mind the g apps that is the official one but use it you download the one with the arm not the arm 64 now i'm just transferring it and soon i'll be making a video on arrow os 13.1 and on lineage os 17 but with full g apps like you will have the complete g apps each one of the apps like you get in pixel os like that and i'm trying to fix the lineage os android 11 because that has some app issues which i'm also unaware of and all of these files i've showed you how to download the rom but the other thing that is the uh, to flash after gsi you will be getting it in my previous video also and i'll be mentioning it in the description in this video as well now you can see that we have the roms and make sure that you have this rom unzip to the image file else it's not going to get installed now once i select the image you can see i have the image select it as system image and then flash it yeah it will be quicker than normal gsis or normal roms because it is like 730 mb or something don't flash the g apps right now if you flash the g apps your device will again have that same issue of constantly booting here or follow my orders like uh, if i have installed any kernel 3 first you also do the same any kernel 3 matches 24.3 then comes the upstream kernel and then the trifix j8 uh, lock screen because if you don't follow this order your device will have either boot loops or your device will get into the uh, like it will go to the uh, system and then you will have issues like if your device goes to sleep it wouldn't turn on like it will just stay dark all the time and you'll have this issue constantly until you just force your device to shut off now you can see i'm installing magisk but also a crucial step in magisk is that once you install magisk application don't 
select on OK when it says install required um, install uh, additional files. Don't select on OK. You have to sele select on cancel. Else it is going to give you some wild errors and your device is going to just boot loop. Don't select on that. Now once we are done, we just at the last there comes a trifix D8 lock screen and now you have to wipe your data the you have to factory reset not da, uh, wipe your system you have don't do that you have to just factory reset and then go on format and se select on yes once you have done that now you can boot your device yeah it just reboots and you won't have any error if you have done everything correctly Now my device is booting up. this install like the first boot up will take a while now you can see it's showing the lineage os install animation the boot animation of lineage os and yeah it will take less time now Now you can see the device has booted up and into the setup wizard. Yeah, you can see welcome to Lineage OS. We hit start. We are just going to set it up quickly. And then I'll show you that yeah, it is indeed what I showed initially. And whatever I whatever steps I did, it was a live demonstration. I didn't cut the video in middle and then fix some errors and came back now. And for your kind information, the fingerprint works. You can add fingerprints, but the camera and flash doesn't work. The camera and flash isn't working. It shows that the camera is in use. So for that, if you want to use a ROM, like full-fledged ROM, you will prefer ROS, which I'm going to make a video really soon. Next video will be about ROS. So now we are going to again power the device off to install the G apps. So you'll see that when you install the G apps, you're going to get an error. It will immediately throw you an error. Once the device is booted, if you go and select the mind the G apps, see, it will show you that there is no storage left. Like you are out of storage and it will show failed. Yeah, there is an error one which shows failed yeah exactly and the installation is aborted now what you have to do go do is go to wipes go to wipe select on system advanced wipe system repair the system and select on resize system fi file system and now once we are done with that you you can just exactly do the same thing go back mind the g apps and now it's going to install properly without any error now it's going to be without any error and we are going to hit restart like yeah it will be restarting now you can see my device is booted up and you can see that I have the one we have installed it will only have the Play Store and Google it won't have any other thing because the system file isn't that large enough to support it and you can see it's the exact ROM that we installed and 
I'm demonstrating you that the camera keeps on crashing. I haven't found a walkaround for that. Uh, the moment I find it, I will be giving up a fix on that. And that is it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.